Thank you very much, viewers. In front of you here, as my name is Honorable Sam Engola. I am the brother to the late Colonel, retired Charles Okelengola, Machodugu, at his residence. It is very unfortunate we have lost our brother in a very bad way, but God is there to look after where he's going to be. As you have asked me, you want to know the program of the burial. Yesterday we had a very successful meeting in the Ministry of Lands, I mean Ministry of Labor, in the boardroom to make the program. And the program is drawn out. The body will leave the mortuary on Tuesday for Parliament of Uganda. Then on Wednesday, the body will be in Kololo Airstrip for the service and the prayer for the late. Because why we decided to put in Kololo, all these members of parliament, ministers, friends, relatives will attend, including the president. So that's the only good place for the body to be prayed. Then on Thursday, the vigil will be on Wednesday evening at home here. The body will lie here. Tuesday, I mean, Thursday morning at 10 o'clock, the body will be flown to Oyam for the council meeting as he was the chairman LC5 of Oyam district. The councillors have made a, a meeting for the whole Lao sub-region, all the 10 districts. They will all come to Oyam. So after that, we will go to his home where he was building a church and then they will pray for him there and then he will be taken home. Then on Friday, people will be viewing their home, I mean the body at home, and Saturday at 10 o'clock, we will bury our dear brother. That is the program we have got. We are going to circulate in the newspaper, we are going to circulate in the media, and you are already part of the circulation now. I want to thank you people very much. May his body rest in eternal peace. Amen. I felt very bad. I was the first person to be told by his wife, his dear wife had gone down there. So when she had the shooting here, the first person she called was me because he had uh, the man running and saying he has killed the minister himself. So the first person she rang was me. And immediately I was still at home, I rushed. So I was, I think, one of the second, third person to arrive on the scene. The first person who arrived on the scene, whom I would like to thank him also very much, is Latif Sebagala, who lives around here. Mm -hmm. When he also had too much shooting as a politician, he came first. Mm -hmm. Actually, the first one who took the photo when he was lying down there. Mm -hmm. And then he made the Twitter, and he made a mistake by saying it is me, Sam Engola, not Kelly Engola. So that's why everybody thought I was dead, but I'm alive, I thank God very much to make me still be there and talk to the people. And uh, when you saw the Twitter? When it was... I didn't see the Twitter because when the wife called me, I started crying from my house with my wife and uh, my daughter. We drove here straight because she told me, ring the Minister of Health, Dr. Cheng, to send the ambulance because that time the man said I've shot, so she thought he was still alive. But me, as a gun, I knew he was dead, so I came crying and I could not think of anything. But we drove very fast and we reached very fast. And what we saw was the body was still lying down there. How did that affect you? It affected for, me no, very bad for, up to now. I'm still affected no, I'm, until I, I, I bury him. Because mean, we were very close. I mean, when the, the saturation it was about you whole. Uh, to me, I had later because so many calls were coming mm. until my phone jumped. I took my phone yesterday to Airtel mm. to remove all the messages. I started reading at night. My phone got blocked by itself because of the messages which were coming. The whole world was ringing and checking whether I'm alive or I'm dead. But God is there, I'm still alive. Honorable, maybe you take you back to the preparations of burial. Uh, I know this is a step funeral. Uh, it's government financing everything. Yes. Yeah, it is official burial. Government is going to finance everything. I told you yesterday we had a meeting. We're going for tomorrow again at 10 o'clock for the last meeting now for the budget, they were drawing the budget today. So tomorrow we'll go and see what they've done. And then we take off, like now, you have seen uh, sending a pickup with the food on our own money because government has not given us anything. So I have to send a pickup full of food because at home there, there are more people than here. 
At least here I'm grateful to the parliament that the one facilitating us with these tents and these chairs and the food which we are eating here, it is done by parliament. But in the village there, it is done by our clan or our friends. That's why I'm sending food. Right now you have heard or you have seen me paying money to let the sun go to save the situation. But the graveyard we have already dug, uh, people are there and they're waiting for us because we're expecting very many people to come for the burial. Me and you, I can say we're safe because this is a, an incident or an accident or I don't know what, what to use. If it is your day, I told the people here uh, the previous night, which even yesterday, even now, it is good. I'm talking to the press that my brother, as you have seen the president say he was a lion, he was the best fighter in the army. But he has died as if he was not a fighter because he pulled his pistol, but it was his day. He had a big gun and he had an escort, but he still died. So if it is your day, that's why they said you don't argue with God. Because once God has done the judgment, there's no way. The general pulled his pistol. He died with a pistol in the hand because it was his day. So we can say we're all safe. If it is your day, you go. You have seen how many generals, how many ministers, or how many people die because it is their day. So he died as a soldier and a brave one. I'm happy the president said he was a lion because I am happy I read the president's message. I don't know who translated to him, Mashudrugo, what it meant, whether he was hearing what I was telling people here because that's a nickname the Lao gave him because of fighting. Because during Kong's war, once he sees the fire or smoke, they kill the old people in that area. So he went and camped there and he said, kill all kinds of people. So people came back. That's why they gave him that name. That is not his name. And it was not a bad name. They gave him because of his strength. Thank you very much.